So this video is being filmed on Monday, February 5th, 2024. And today the water level is measuring at 1,073 feet MSL. Now the last time I was out here, which was toward the end of October 2023, the water level was measuring at 1,065 feet. So in roughly three months, that's an eight foot climb. And throughout the rest of the video today, we're gonna walk around Lake Mead, check it out, see how much things have changed. I'm also gonna talk about what we can expect in the year of 2024. And I'm also gonna go out and take a whole bunch of photos around the lake and compare those photos to the photos that I took back in October, just to kind of give you a better visual representation of how much things have changed out here. So let's go. Now, ever since the start of 2024, the water levels at Lake Mead have been on an upward trend as a result of rainfall and inflows from Lake Powell. Now, despite an 8-foot rise since my last video, as of this video being made, Lake Mead is still 155 feet below full pool. But it's definitely made a difference at the lake. Here is some before and after photos from my last visit. When you compare the Boulder Harbor area to what it looked like back in July of 2022, such a huge transformation. This whole area that you see right here behind me, completely bone dry. There was probably like tires, boat parts, and a bunch of random junk down in there. And you could even drive down in there too, but that is not the case today. So much water and the ducks are pretty much having a good time out here. Now these before and after photos may show a significant increase in water levels, but the question is, how long will this last? Well, I found this 8 News Now article posted January 16th, 2024, and this shines a little bit of light on the subject. According to 8 News Now Las Vegas, Lake Mead is higher than it's been since early summer of 2021, and the level is expected to rise another 3 feet before the end of February, according to projections released Tuesday by the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation. But then the lake will drop steadily over 2024, ending the year 17 feet lower by the end of December, and in 2025, the most probable projection puts Lake Mead just a few feet above the lowest it has been since the lake was filled in the 1930s. That amounts to a 29-foot drop over the next two years. Now, we are going to make our way over to Boulder Beach and see what it looks like over there. I got into Henderson pretty late last night, so by the time I got to Lake Mead, the sun was already setting. I didn't want to be hiking after dark. But we're going to go over there and see if some of those uh, old sunken boats are still visible. I don't think they will be, but you don't know until you know. Let's go. So we've been walking along the shoreline at Boulder Beach for a few minutes now, and I think I made an interesting discovery. Check this out. So, I don't know, a couple hundred feet out that way, there used to be this boat that was kind of like sticking out of the water, like about a couple feet or so. And of course, you can't see it. And I didn't know if I was gonna be able to find it or not. I think I found the location, so check this out. All right, I got my bigger lens on. So my hypothesis is right here where you see that buoy, See if that will focus, maybe not. So that buoy, I do believe, is where that boat was. And by boat, I mean this one right here. The reason I say that is because there is another buoy, see if I can zoom in on it, right there. And that buoy was right next to, I think it was like an engine block or a transmission. I'll put a photo up of it right here. So I do believe that is the same spot. And then of course, 
just ahead of that would have been the top part of that speedboat. And it wouldn't surprise me if they put a buoy on top of it just so that way some of the bigger boats know, hey, you know, don't get too close because there's a boat under the water. And if in fact that's true, then holy crap, <laughs> that water has come up a long way. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Now one important detail I wanted to cover in this video was to convey how far the lake levels have come up in the past two years. Now in case you've been living under a rock or smoking way too much weed, not that there's anything wrong with that, but back in July of 2022, Lake Mead hit an all-time low of 1,040 feet MSL, which was the lowest that it's been since 1937 when the reservoir was initially being filled. Now as the lake was hitting historic lows, boats and bodies were frequently surfacing all around the lake, launch ramps were closing, and it visually appeared as if the water levels were dropping by the day. But in 2023, Mother Nature had other plans in mind. 2023 went on to be one of the wettest winters, with above average snowpack in the Rocky Mountains and excessive rains all across Southern California, Nevada, and parts of Arizona. Now this didn't exactly fill Lake Powell and Lake Mead to full pool, but it helped, and definitely provided some much needed rain while alleviating a little bit of strain on the reservoirs. Heck, even where I live in Arizona, multiple dams on the SRP watershed had to consistently release water downstream due to excessive rain, so that way they could make room for snowmelt in the late spring. Water was even flowing down the Salt River through Phoenix for the first time since 2019. What a time to be alive. But bringing it back to Lake Mead, since July of 2022, the water level went from 1,040 feet MSL to 1,074 feet MSL as of this video being made. But it certainly wasn't a straight climb. Let me show you. So as you can see, we have 2022 marked right here. We started off the year pretty high around 1,066, 67 feet, and it was a downward trend all the way throughout the rest of the year. And by the end of 2022, it ended around 1,044 feet MSL. Now, in 2023, let's check off 2023, started off pretty low, but then gradually as the year went on and as snowmelt made its way down into Lake Powell and Lake Mead, it shot up pretty quick, and we ended the year of 2023 at around 1,067 feet MSL. Now, coming to 2024, and as of this video being made, today is February 9th, uh, it's still continuing that upward trend, and as you can see right here, it's now at 1,074 feet MSL. Now here's a popular question, will Lake Mead ever refill? This is a common question I see popping up in news articles and in the comments of Lake Mead and Lake Powell videos fairly often, and it's a question I think about every time I come to Lake Mead. And here's what I found. According to Los Angeles Times, published February of 2023, it states, even with this winter's above average snowpack in the Rocky Mountains, water officials and scientists say everyone in the Colorado River Basin will need to plan for low reservoir levels for years to come. And some say they think the river's major reservoirs probably won't refill in our lifetimes. And according to a YouTube video posted on Fox 5 Las Vegas' YouTube page, Southern Nevada Water Authority Outreach Manager Bronson Mack had this to say. The future of the river is going to be less water. Therefore, we need to make sure that all water users in all states that share the Colorado River and those in the country of Mexico are all contributing to water conservation. Now, unless the Southwest plans on getting the flood of the century anytime soon, the spillways at Hoover Dam will continue to be drier than a Christmas tree in March, or drier than a KFC biscuit, or drier than a Mormon's wedding. You get the idea. And in fact, the last time the spillways at Hoover Dam were used was back in 1983 due to flooding. And a fun fact, according to earthobservatory.nasa.gov, the lake last approached full capacity in the summers of 1983 and 1999. 1983 was also the same year rock group KISS first performed in public without their makeup. But let's move on to more relevant topics. After a short hike and a couple beers later, we finally made it out to the southwest side of Pyramid Island. And now we're going to try to find that boat out here. And by boat, I mean this one right here. It's another boat that I've been kind of documenting the water levels around ever since I started coming out here. And there is no sign of it. And if I had to guess, that boat would probably be somewhere right around there. Hard to say exactly where it is without, you know, swimming out there. But I know we're close because of this. Check this out. Where is it? Oh, there it is. This little piece of wood right here. I remember at least a couple of those kind of being around that boat. 
at one point in time because I used to walk on those so that way I wouldn't sink into the mud. So I gotta say it's gotta be somewhere right around there. After wrapping things up at Boulder Beach, I decided to drive my little four-cylinder vehicle out to Government Wash. And for those of you who aren't familiar with Government Wash, it's the area around Lake Mead where the famous speedboat is sticking out of the ground. My last visit out to this location, the boat was barely breaking the surface of the water, and I was quite eager to see what the area looks like now. Here's a quick screenshot of what the area looked like on July 9th, 2022. Here's a photo I took back on October 28th, 2023. And here's the most recent photo I took on February 5th, 2024. I never thought that speedboat would once again be fully submerged underwater, but if the water level projections in the next couple of years turn out to be as accurate as predicted, we just may get another glimpse of this Lake Mead monolith. Now in the next part of the video, I'm going to show you guys photos that I took at Hoover Dam on February 5th, 2024. And I'm going to do side-by-side -side comparisons to the photos I took out here back in June of 2022.